Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you a 1 vs 1 on 2 ways and I'm going to be using the 35th Guards Air Assault. I'm going to be up against Genera in this one who's using the 11E Division Parachutist. This is game 1 of round 3 of the Warno League Season 0 Division 2 and today we're basically playing against each other to determine the seed of our group because both myself and Genra up to this point had gone 4-0 in the group stage so Genra definitely a good player and I was really excited for this match so let's see how we get on anyway I've got the 35th he's got the 11 E I banned KDA he banned 82nd uh, so there's your picks and bans let's have a quick look at my units so we got Spetsnaz DP leading the charge with the UAZ SBG-9. I've got the UAZ KPV, which is the recon UAZ with the Desan Razvedka. I've got another Spesas OP, sorry, not DP. I always say DP. I'm sorry, it annoys you guys. Um, it's OP. Um, we've got the Spetsnaz there, two units of Spetsnaz and a couple of these SBG-9 UAZs. I've got another couple of the SBG-9 UAZs with the UAZ with the Spetsnaz OPs. And then we've got a Desant Eagler with the Scrozet following up. Uh, into the centre, we've got Spetsnaz OP with the Desant Niki Metis and an SBG 9 UAZ. More SBG UAZ 9 or UAZs <laughs> going into the town with the Desant Niki Metis squads and the Spetsnaz OP on the right hand side. So on my right hand side, just using the Desant Niki Metis to set up a sort of defensive perimeter on the outside of the town here, as well as the Spetsnaz OP, which are going to be pushing ahead to snipe enemy transports. SPG 9 on the left side, uh, left row, just in case. Anyway, coming in onto the left side here, going to be able to unload two of my trucks. One of them does go down. Uh, that is the SBG-9 goes down, both of them die. My Desat knows that get absolutely wiped and the Spetsnaz OP are soon to fall against the Legionnaire Pallet and the Pallet SAS. You can see I did have smoke coming in but I'll explain that in a second. Desat Eagler on the left with the Scorset there as well. So I brought in two Nonners at the start of the back here. The idea was to smoke the in, like the town, the edge of the town, so I could push into the edge of the town right from the start. But what I didn't realize is the Nonners didn't actually have the range <laughs> to smoke the entrance from where I'd placed them at the start. So I ended up smoking short and then I fast moved one further forwards in hopes that I could get the smoke there in time, but I definitely didn't. And I lost half my early push into this town. So that didn't go very well. And both these Spetsnaz stay alive. I'm going to end up using the smoke to get them into the town instead. Meanwhile, in the middle, I did lose my Spetsnaz OP to a Pallet SAS, uh, since they used their like HE satchels to blow me up. And now we've got a few units coming in on the right-hand side. A couple of these uh, Legionnaire Pallet, Supper Pallet, and the Grupa Antichar as well. So SPG-9 currently just harassing them as they come towards us and I'm going to be bringing in a couple of extra units in the BMD2s, the Desaniki BMD to cover off here. The idea being that the Desaniki BMD can just obviously occupy the town and then I can move the BMDTs out of the town to cover from a distance on the side so if he tries to push the infantry across the open I have fire support to the left. The SBG9 UAZ gets taken out by the unit in here and meanwhile, just making the play with the Spetsnaz on the left. So Smokes managed to cover my Spetsnaz into the town. I'm even moving up the Spetsnaz OP just in case there's any vehicles that I need to deal with. And yeah. Another thing that I actively did at the start of the game is I didn't bring in any helicopters. Because we're up against the 11E, they have a lot of French fighters. And the French fighters are exceptionally good at taking down enemy air or enemy helicopters and their aircraft. So not, by not investing in any helicopters early on, I'm not going to get shot down by like F1Cs at the start. So the Spetsnaz going hard here on this Pallet SAS. The Pallet SAS do have the demolition charges, so getting rid of them early on is pretty important. Uh, the Legionnaires have their building destroyed and the Spetsnaz are going to keep firing at them, so we can take them out very quickly. And now we just have the Sapa Pallet that are going to be shot at by the SPG-9 while my Spetsnaz engage. I'm going to be trying to jump forwards this Spetsnaz to have a go as well. Meanwhile on the right, Gazelle Cannon going to be pushing forwards to reveal my UAZ SBG-9. HGM going to be coming in there and taking it out. But meanwhile on the left, the Spetsnaz do have these AKSU-74s and they're very good at close range. So I'm able to get some really good damage here onto the Sapa Pada. And I've also got the Nonners aiming away with their 
mortar rounds to try and help out here, but that's currently landing a little bit short. I'm just going to be falling back with the Spetsnaz, letting the mortar rounds come in. They're not going to be able to chase me, because if they do chase me, they're going to get killed. Uh, meanwhile, on the right-hand side, the Sages are going to be pushing forwards, but my Desaniki Meta is going to be doing their job in trying to hold them back. That's why I brought in the Metis squads so that I could stop transports and any armored vehicles from pushing into the town on the right hand side early on. But I brought in a command now to capture Charlton and I brought one in to capture Jot. So we do have a plus two advantage. Although Genera has brought in the one into the center into Dimitri. So that's a little bit of a problem. I am unfortunately mortaring myself a little bit here. <laughs> but I do quickly correct my mistake. I have managed to capture a VLRA Logi. Uh, this was actually coming in with his initial push and he drove it straight into my lines. So I captured it and I used it to replenish my Metis squads and also the uh, HGMs that they use. Uh, unfortunately, a BMD2 is gonna be going down here and the Desaniki BMD gets killed. I thought it was by something over here. So I've got these two coming in and uh, they're just gonna be going up the road here to try and uh, get some positioning into the center sector but then that's when I quickly realize that the enemy unit is in fact right here and it kills one of my BMDs again losing a second squad. Now meanwhile on the right hand side my Desaniki BMD have arrived. The Gazelle Cannon is providing good support here onto the Desaniki Metis but I've got the BMDs out wide that are going to be providing auto cannon support and I've also got a MiG-29 or MiG-27 sorry coming in with its bombs to have a go at the Sapper Pada. The first bomb goes completely wide, but the following bombs hit the mark. So it managed to take out those squads. And that leaves just the Legionnaire Pada that I've got to clean up with the BMD-2 and these other units, so that's fine. Meanwhile, over here, my BMD-2 and Desaniki BMD clean out the one unit that was here, and we're starting to put pressure onto the other infantry squads in the center. Uh, UAZ SBG9 pushing around the left hand side does find the ERC 90 Sergei, can take it out quite easily, so going to be doing just that. And meanwhile, you might see that my UAZ back here has died, and that was to a VLRA uh, Lynx, uh, or I think they're called VLRAs, but anyway, a Lynx 90, which has like a, it's like a wheeled recon vehicle, one of these things, AML 90, sorry, not VLRA, <laughs> AML 90 Lynx. Yeah, one of those popped up down here and shot my UAZ. I didn't notice at the time. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Anyway, I managed to push through with my UAZ to the back side of the sector, and I'm just like harassing his reinforcements there. I've got my Desaniki BMD like obviously covering or, or being shot at so that my BMDs can cover. And I've got a couple more Desaniki BMD coming in here now, uh, and the Spetsnaz Komlotti also going to be uh, coming in to capture this. I believe I did see a the AML on the right hand side coming up here. So I was a little bit worried, which is I brought, why I brought in the Spetsnaz Komlotti on the left. And I've also got the MI8 flying around just to make sure that that doesn't get sniped like the one on the left did. Because I kind of saw that like the game was up basically um, with his little flanking maneuver. Now my BMD2 easily takes out the Pada SES. They have a little bit of a hard time killing a BMD with satchel charges. So able to clear that out, get a good position into the center sector, and I'm going to be capturing it soon with the Spetsnaz Komlotti. So on the right hand side, unload the Spetsnaz, get them into a position here that's a lot safer, and uh, considering he took out this command, I considered that he'd probably go for this one as well. So I've actually got the MIA going to go to this command and then fly the route that he would take through the trees to get here. Meanwhile on the left, Gazelle does go down to the Igla. And we've got the Desaniki BMDs engaging the Legionnaires. Legionnaire Pada are going to be able to get the Apalas onto the BMD2 on the far side of the objective. So things happening all over the place in this match. And trust me, that's going to be a trend that continues. So sit back, relax. <laughs> I might want to pause it, get some popcorn because this is a hell of a game. Uh, my gas here going down. Look at that truck died right at the back here. Thankfully, it was a transport that had already unloaded. So it gives me an idea of where there might be an enemy vehicle. So my MI8 is on the move to go and take that back. I'm not too concerned about the BMD2s. Like if the link fires at one of these, the BMD2s will be able to kill it. 
And there you go, another AMX90 Lynx that popped out from the right hand side that's hunting down my command here. Now my Spets Nice Comrati don't have too much to worry about because they do have an RPG-26 so they're going to be able to kill the AML-90 uh, quite easily. But you can see I've also got an MI-8 on the left here that's still hovering around because I don't want to bring in another command and get it killed. As I kind of noticed that if he's going to run around sniping all of my... Like sniping all of my uh, CVs that I'm actually going to have a real hard time. Anyway, Mirage F1C comes in, takes out my MI8. I head on the Mirage with my SU-25 cluster and unfortunately that dies as well. So a decent trade aircraft to aircraft but losing the MA8 as well wasn't obviously helpful so I've only got these Desaniki BMD they're going to have to be going find that and General knows very well that uh, without the recon aircrafts can be very hard for me to find the AML-90 so he's trying to do his best basically to stop me finding that so he can keep harassing my backline and my commanders but yeah going back to what I was saying um, I don't have many leaders I've only got a card of Spetsnaz Komlotti and I've got one card of these UAZs. So I'm being very cautious about bringing them in because I don't want them to die um, to his shenanigans in my backline. But on the left here, you can see I briefly spotted it, but it's really hard to like see on the, on the mini map or notice that while I'm concentrating on micro. So I don't think I actually noticed for a little while. Uh, but the Spetsnaz here going to be engaging the sapper powder at range. I've got some Desaniki BMD coming in with the BMD2 so they're going to be able to provide some fire there as well. The AML90 there going to be moving away. I'm surprised he didn't go for my nonas because I was firing them at the start but I saw this one die up here and I'm like oh come on <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like my backline's just being absolutely sniped right now by these AMLs and it's so annoying. Anyway, Spetsnaz here going to be using up their RPOs. Uh, meanwhile, the Desaniki BMD getting decent shots here onto the Sapper Pada, stopping them from getting to the Spetsnaz Komlotti. I managed to get rid of the Gazelle Cannon on the right hand side using the BMDs in the town. i shoot that out of the sky with the auto cannons. And yeah, those Sapper Pada go down before they spot my Spetsnaz, I think. Um, he brought in the HE bombs to bomb my. Spetsnaz there. Meanwhile on the left, you might have seen that I built up a little bit of push here. I've got some Desaniki Sapari RPO and I've got the Spetsnaz which also have the RPO. So I'm able to really do a lot of damage to Chasseur Pada and Legionnaire Pada at close range with these RPO Napalm launchers. And the other thing is I brought up an MI8 with, re with uh, supply and that's landed in the back garden here. So it's actually really hard for him to spot. And also it's going to resupply all of these RPOs, so I'm going to be able to constantly jump forwards and backwards, get loads of damage onto his infantry uh, by resupplying those. I could have probably saved this unit as well, but didn't micro that at the time. Uh, but either way, we're in, I'm in a really good position on this left side in his town. I just haven't recaptured this yet because I'm still trying to find the <laughs> enemy unit that's dealing the damage in my backline. You can see I've also purchased one of these MI24Ks. Now these things are super expensive, 270 points. This was pre-patch. Um, patch just came out like yesterday, I think, uh, before I recorded this. So yeah, this was played before the latest changes. So the MI-24 there is still 270 points for that recon and I'm going to be trying to use that to find uh, this unit on the far left so that I can be safe to get in a UAZ here because I'm currently losing to a plus 4 in the game but I'm still meanwhile microing my Spetsnaz getting value onto his infantry like every infantry squad I kill is really good because uh, he does have a limited number of infantry squads at the end of the day and they're not cheap so I'm still building a big lead by keeping my Spetsnaz alive on the left uh, whilst killing his infantry and that's a, a big deal. Uh, it's definitely going to help me later on. So I find the AML 90 links here. I'm going to be hunting it down with an SBG9 UAZ. The UAZ actually fires a lot faster than the AML does but the MI24V is going to be able to line up the HGM first so that's good and I'm also going to be able to find the AM out on the left at the same time. I was going to try and strafe it with the MiG-29 but I'm just going to send the MI-24 over there and keep my uh, MiG-29 hovering about so that I can cover the MI-24 if he comes in for any gun runs with his, ha with his aircraft because there's one thing you really need to worry about. Gazelle Cannon comes forwards, gets shot down by the Iglet and the Skizzit. Now another thing you might notice is that I mainly have Iglers and that's because the 35th really doesn't get that much in the way of like 
AA. It's basically mostly infrared and it's short range. So MI-24 here, gonna line up, trying to get its main gun on target. The auto cannon takes it out. MiG-29, meanwhile, did get a little bit of a strafing run off there as you can see. And now I'm gonna be hovering that about. This MiG-29 is just so cool. Let's go and watch it as it goes for the Puma Pirates that I can see hovering over the hill here. A little bit of a wiggle. And that's gonna be two Pim Pirates taken out. And I'm gonna be following through to this Mirage F1CT. Try and shoot that down as well. Unfortunately, that does bomb my BMD there. I see another aircraft coming in, so I'm gonna bail from killing the F1C. Uh, meanwhile, Spetsnaz Komrotti gonna be bombed by the Jaguar. I was trying to tr dodge that, but the way the bomb spread was perfect. So he manages to kill that. And he basically snuck a unit in here and ran it around the back as far as I'm aware to get that kill. My MI-24K on the left hand side is gonna push up here, but he does have a Mistral, so that's gonna get shot down. And that's 270 points down the pan. Anyway, MiG-27 in the meantime gonna be coming in and bombing the back side of the sector. I know that roughly where his command is because of where my positioning was before in the sector just before all of these pumas came in and i did manage to hit his command there so we're going to trade a command in the center at least that's going to keep it at a plus two because this could get very much out of hand like overall it positional wise like i'm actually in a pretty good position but it's just i need to get this recapped and like all of his shots on my commands in the back line had been doing a lot of damage now his puma here is just trying to like push through and find my command but he's going to be chased down by my MI-24, this is really cool. I'm just trying to catch up to him best I can. But best bet for me, use a MiG-29. MiG-29 gonna come in there, shoot it out the sky. MI-24 was slowly catch catching up. And if it ever stopped, I would have been able to use the Yak-B to take it out. But yeah, he was basically hunting for this command again. I'm gonna just leave, leave an SPG-9 here to cover that against any units that try and come through the trees. Anyway, still developing my position on the left. Spetsnaz jumping forwards and backwards. Uh, this time around, going to be jumping forwards with the Spetsnaz engaging some of his units, but he's going to get me on three sides here. The Sapper Padder going to be running forwards, jump, dropping their satchels on me. And so this one's kind of out of position now. He's going to be able to get the last little bit of damage on me. I'm going to commit to try and kill his Sapper Pabba at least. And I managed to get that. So I was happy with that engagement. Uh, and yeah, losing the Spetsnaz sucks. But being able to kill one of the Sapper Pabba at least to trade is okay. And my mid position's kind of bad right now. But the MI-24 moved up here and got some decent kills. And now I'm bringing in uh, a couple of units to fill that up. BMD2 on the left side is going to go down in the town here. The BMD2, I noticed that he was using the Sapper Pada, so they don't have any AT, so I'm able to just drive up the BMDs to these, but he did have a group and chat in here, so I'm going to have to take that out. And meanwhile, the BMD2 is going to be able to try and finish off that unit as well. So good cover coming in from the left side now from the BMD. I've still got the MI-8 here with some decent supplies, so going to be bringing up some more reinforcements for that. Spetsnaz coming in now. SPG-9 looking for the kill onto the Legion Pada in the middle whilst it's shooting at the MI-8. And I'm going to be moving over the MI-24 here to get the gun on target as well, but not needed in the end. So BMD-2 moving up. Unfortunately, still very much at the disadvantage in this game, 276 score but i've traded well i would say and puma kangaroo going to be going down at the back side of the sector and the desaniki coming in with the desaniki igla and skoze uh, and meanwhile what i did here i had a couple bmd2s in the town so i actually reloaded some desaniki bmd and also the desaniki metis i'm going to be fast moving them up here and bringing them back this way like these two units were ones that I brought in here as well. I also fast move them back. So what I'm doing is I'm like reallocating all my resources from Fedor to Dimitri so that I can make a push into Dimitri and hold this because this is the important sector right here. On the left, my BMD 2 just about manages to shoot down the Gazelle Hot 2. 
before it dies, so that was pretty clutch. I was moving up the Skyzet to go and shoot that, but yeah, that was a, a nice a nice kill for me. Just gets rid of a, another pesky helicopter. And yeah, so the idea is that if all of these arrive at the same time, I'm going to be able to really seriously push through uh, this sector. I've just got to be careful of these Legionnaire Pala, of the um, other infantry that have decent AT. If I bump into anything that doesn't have AT, then I can run at it with a uh, APC. Jaguar there coming in with the bomber. The Jaguar there coming in with the bomb, sorry, takes out the Desan Niki. VLRA 20 mil is going to move forward to try and take down the MI8. Uh, but my BMD able to just drive forwards and shoot those because the Legionnaire Pala here held up by the Dassault Niki BMD. Alright, mean one on the left. Dassault Niki BMD actually making some good progress here. Gonna bump into the VLR8. But now two Grip and Cha unloading on top of them plus the Chassa Pala. Not great, but I've got four units of Spetsnaz arriving. Plus some more Desan Niki Metis and Desan Niki BMD. Desan Niki Metis going to be covering like either the far left or right side just to stop stuff coming up the road or whatever. And the Desan Niki BMD there just to provide an extra BMD for me. I've also got a couple of Spetsnaz Guru on the way with another BMD behind and a couple of bombers now moving in to find strikes. I know there is command probably back here somewhere, so maybe going for a little bit of a cheeky command snipe here I was also trying to hit the infantry to find some value for my spare snaz as I can push them in quite aggressively after the fact uh, this BMD did manage to get through quite well on the left side I did in fact miss his command back here I'm not sure if that did much damage but I managed to kill his VLRA Logi there which was really nice is Legion of Pala going to be coming across finding my Desant Eagle I'm going to be pulling back the BMD2s because I don't want them to get killed by the Legionnaire Pada with the Apalas. So the Dasaniki BMD going to go first. Meanwhile on the left side, MiG-29 comes in, takes out the Gazelle Cannon, wanting to remove some of that recon. Unfortunately, Mirage F1C hits both of its air-to-air -air missiles, shoots down my MiG. Probably wasn't, well, definitely wasn't worth it for the, for the MiG. Like, he's going to have more fighters than I am overall. So I've got to be kind of careful. Anyway, I take the opportunity to get my uh, get my command in here. I'm going to shoot down the F1C. I queue the order onto the cannon there, so I managed to get that as well. Nice double kill from that MiG-29. So Spetsnaz moving up, or maybe you're getting into position, secured the sector. Uh, or at least contested the sector with my command. He's captured the mid sector, which is why it's still plus one in his favor. And you can see, also see here, I brought up another MI8T to resupply these helicopters and fix this one up at least. Uh, but this Aniki Metis do find their first kill on the left hand side, take down one of the Sagays. Spetsnaz in the meantime are absolutely pounding the Chasse of Pada. At the back side here, uh, my SU 25, gonna find a Mirage F 1C. Unfortunately, didn't managed to get the head-on kill but we're going to get my MiG to come in takes down one of the Mirage F1Cs now I'm looking for the Jaguar kill managed to find that as well so I traded in the end one SU-25 uh, for the Mirage and the Jaguar so I wasn't too unhappy with that the Jaguar here ended up missing its strike I'm going to shoot down the Gazelle Hot 2 there as well, and then I'm going to evac my MiG-29. I probably could have committed to the Jaguar, but I didn't really have enough time to get onto the back of that, because the Jaguars are pretty fast. Or at least that's what I thought at the time. Looking at it there, it looks like I might have been able to. Now his uh, leader is going to reveal itself. He probably should have turned off the weapons on there, so I didn't know where it was. I'm going to bring in a bomber immediately to go for that. Meanwhile, he's bringing in a bomber as well, his Jaguar bomber with the HE. Takes out two Spetsnaz squads in one bomb, really trying to avoid that the best I can by keeping them spread out here. But as I'm getting to the far side of the town, it's getting more and more difficult for me to do that. Anyway, bomb's away, looking for that leader. He does have a little bit of AA here, but it's not going to be enough to shoot that down. And the bombs land nicely on target. I'm also able to get some decent shots here from the BMD2s through the buildings because a lot of the buildings are destroyed now. And that's going to get me another kill there onto the Sapper Pada. So this is fully under my control now. Meanwhile in the middle, my BMDs are in position. 
and ready to mow down a lot of Chasseur Pada and Legionnaire Pada as they push towards me on this far side. My MI-24 has moved towards the supply, got itself reloaded, ready to get those rockets and main gun on target. And just like the 35th, the 11E really doesn't have fantastic AA, so I'm able to exploit that by using the MI-24 to kill a lot of this infantry. I've even got another MI-24V here coming in, another two of them, which have the AA capabilities. To take out one Chasseur Pada, going to be rocketing some of the other stuff here. And I've also got the MI-8s coming in with the rockets, I've got an SU-25 coming in with the strafing run as well. Basically I'd end up building up a huge force of helicopters and I was trying to exploit that in the mid here to really just break down a lot of this infantry that he'd brought in, the MI-8 MT there, just demolishing those squads. Left side completely under my control for now, Spetsnaz Gru even moving ahead, MI-8T still has ammunition left so yeah very much in a nice position there, and SU-25 coming in for the Gazelle Cannon. And I've got the MiG-29 coming in for the Jaguar, unfortunately misses those. This MiG-29 coming across from the right hand side, it was just killing a free helicopter here. Looking for the engagements against the Mirage. Swinging that round, there's no AA here to stop me. And I managed to find his commander as well. So committing for the Mirage at the back, taking out the Super Puma in the middle he brought up some super pumas that were looking to try and sneak through and get more snipes in the mid. I, th I believe this MiG-29 wasn't successful but the SU-25 still hovering about. You see I turned off the cluster so that I could purposefully use the main gun to strafe but it actually ran out of ammo so I probably should have evac'd it by now. This one is evac'ing. My MiG-29 is coming across though to engage the Jaguar and we're going to be able to shoot that down so really nice air engagements for me. MiG-29s paying off big time and so is the uh, SU-25 even though again as I mentioned should have had that evac'd by now <laughs> unless I was going to use it to cluster something like this AML-90 but I'm bringing up another one the reason I'm keeping them here as you can see I'm going for the Pumas I'm able to shoot one out the sky this SU-25 I believe I'd right clicked on the Puma but this is when I finally realized that it was out of ammo <laughs> another SU-25 coming up with the strike onto the Pumas but I don't want to go for these ones I want to go for these ones because these ones have infantry in them so take out the infantry please thank you very much two really nice kills for me Mirage 2000 going to be coming in to shoot down my SU-25 unfortunately not able to face and kill that in time SU-25 is super strong uh, so the pirates in the middle still alive unfortunately because my MiGs are all out and about. Uh, MI-8 in the meantime going to be pushing forwards and uh, this was pretty much the moment I realized like I didn't really have any commands <laughs> to capture in order to win. Um, so well I'd actually kind of realized before that that was why I made this big push like I realized how low I was getting on commands so I really committed to pushing him out of his sector. Anyway MI-24 coming over on the left side here to potentially go for the Puma Pirate engagement. Meanwhile on the left, Phoebe out, does get taken out. Spetsnaz Gru find that kill, so that was really good. I think he felt safe maybe to bring that in the corner because of the AML-90 recon there, so it maybe tricked him a little bit. This MI-24V going to be finding another AML-90. And uh, we're going to be finding some Sapo Pados here as well, so going to be smashing them with auto cannon. So I'm in a really good position right now. I'm on a plus four. My BMD-2 here is actually out of fuel. But it's still being an absolute chad, firing at these helicopters. <laughs> Look at that. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> My Akula comes over in the end to try and shoot those down, but the BMD actually claims the last kill. So cool. So, so cool. Anyway. Great job BMD2. The Puma Pirates were having a hard time like getting on target there but my Mirage F going for the F1 CT. The CT has uh, sort of like big sort of laser guided bombs 
They're not quite laser guided yet. Um, but basically, yeah, MiG-29 comes in, takes that out. Going to be trying to get some distance on the Jaguar, because the Jaguar actually doesn't have any like air-to-air -air missiles. It just has its cannon. Uh, MiG-29 going to be coming in with a bomber, looking for a snipe here. I'm also finding his VBL PC here, so the Akula trying to get on target with its 30mm cannon. Unfortunately, that's going to go down, but the Akula is going to be able to get its shots on target. So, absolute champ takes out the enemy command, and we're on a plus six. On the right-hand side here, Jaguar going to be able to get on the back of my MiG-27. Shoots it down, so that was a little bit unfortunate for me. And my KA-50. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing a runner after taking out that command. So now the Jaguar coming in as well there. That was looking for the gun run. Now the Jaguar comes across from the right hand side, takes it down. I was moving down into the valley there so that I could maybe land it or something, but unfortunately did not come to fruition. Anyway, in a really good position. Got some nonners on the right hand side now that are going to try and help me like mortar any positions so I can potentially move up on the right and take out his stuff there as well. MI24V looking to try and get a shot onto the cluster. Did end up losing a couple units back here. So <laughs> you can see what's coming. <laughs> MiG-29 is going to be going in for the engagement with the Mirage 2000. Be brought into it once. So I end up losing that trade pretty badly. My MiG-27 going for another strike into a different position this time around. I'm going to lose that MiG-27. His Mirage 2000s are going to get out alive. So now he's recaptured his sector back there. I'm taking out that little bit of a unit as well. Jaguar coming in with cluster to shoot. Well, not using its cluster, but just using its main gun to kill my helicopters. He has got the recon unit here. I managed to get my Desaniki unloaded just in time. And back here, you can see that I did just lose my commander, which is really bad because... Like, I don't have any commanders to replace this. <laughs> so it's just, it's just bad right now. I was thinking, there's no way. I'm at a plus two. I'm just catching up with his points. If he manages to kill another one of my commands, like, I can't win unless I kill all of his commands. So this is pretty much what it became. Like, I'm trying to go for him. He's trying to go for me. His aircraft are just absolutely acing my helicopters, which is the exact reason I didn't bring in any at the start of the game, because I didn't want him to build up this massive air force that could shoot me down. Like, he's now got all of these, like, Mirages. He's got the, uh, like, Mirage 2000C. He's got the Mirage F1s. Um, I am on one, or two, sorry, two MiGs left with one SU-25. I've got the uh, Strela comes coming in, but they're getting popped. Uh, and I also brought in like two of these uh, UAZ Congress. I'm not sure why I brought these in, like what, what I expected these to do, but there we go. Um, meanwhile, AML90 is actually going to find my nonnas. That's running around in my town trying to find the command here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the nonnas towards the command so I can use the command rocket to kill it. It's a bit risky, but it just means I can get rid of it. Meanwhile, Mig is going to get absolutely toasted by Mirage 2000C and both the Conquers go down as they are moving up into that sector. My Nonna's on the left looking for a little bit of a cheeky snipe. I've got a T64 BV here actually, <laughs> zooming all the way up into the enemy spawn. Uh, yeah, just decided to commit everything because it was at this point that I realised he was kind of a bit desperate to try and win the game. Um, I do end up shooting down the Mirage 2000C here with the Strellas, as is uh, AML90 still hunting around the area looking for my command. And he's going to go ahead and take both of those Strella kills. But they've kind of done their job taking down that aircraft, so I'm relatively happy. Uh, Jaguar, meanwhile, looking for strafing run onto my BMD2s. Uh, this BMD2 is getting pretty low on fuel. Again, this one's still out of fuel. Also, this one was out of fuel as well, just like camping out on the road. <laughs> <laughs> which is ridiculous <laughs> anyway back here and my 24k is going to find the error bills that were in fact the reason for that i don't know if he like snuck it around the outside or if it was one of the ones in the middle that managed to get through i, I can't remember anyway bringing in more of these jaguars uh, looking for the kill onto my MI24K here. So my MiG's going to come in and try and save that. does manage to shoot down both of them but I lose the MI24 in the process. Finally the AML90 comes across and uh, gets killed. 
by my Spetsnaz. And so Genera is going to commit a bunch of gazelles to try and kill that. Malmostrella here going to whiff two out of three missiles. So I'm going to shoot down one gazelle, but he's on the hunt to find and kill my Spetsnaz Komrati. Uh, Cluster Jaguar waiting there, but check out the T64 BB back here. <laughs> it's managed to drive all the way around. <laughs> this is how you know he has nothing left. It managed to drive all the way around, and it's now found his command is hunting it down. Meanwhile, his gazelle cannons are finding my Spetsnaz here, but the thing is, I'm microing them to move towards the cannons. Now, this is important because these gazelle cannons can't dip forwards. They can't dip down to shoot the Spetsnaz. So I'm basically sitting underneath them trying to shoot them down with the Spetsnaz Komlotti whilst I wait for something to kill them. Um, I could have brought in the maybe the MiG and the SU-25 at this point, which I finally do upon realizing. Uh, because I was also microing up here trying to get the T-64 to kill the command. So I managed to kill his command. I'm on a plus four. My Spetsnaz is currently running towards his. He's going to get the bomb off with the Mirage F-1 CT. I'm going to come in with the MiG-29 and shoot down the gazelles. This was an absolute just crazy show of from both of us just <laughs> really taking this to the edge like massively i got the triple star on the way i got some t64 bbs coming up still at a plus two because thankfully i did kill his command so yeah things are crazy now that one strike there by the way killed all of the remaining gazelles so they're all dead uh meanwhile my Spetsnaz OP finding and killing ERZ 90s. My Death Niki up here trying to find uh, the last enemy command. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> it's just, I'm in a really, really good position on the map. Like overall, I definitely traded like way better than he did throughout the game, I think. It's just, I lost a lot of my aircraft. Um, so at this point, I think he had like a, maybe a fighter advantage, although maybe only one Mirage 2000C left because we shot down one of them. Anyway, Desaniki trying to find this. I'm just going to be pretty much throwing everything I got towards the sector. T64 is going to get shot at, but can tank those pretty easily in the front armor, so that's fine. Uh, meanwhile, this BMD2 doing God's work once again, shooting down Gazelle cannons as they fly over. The thing is, because this is killed so much, it was actually 3 vet. Um, we've got the MiG-29 trying to come in on the back of the Mirage here. Trying to get strafing runs across. SU-25 manages to get the head on, so that was fantastic. The Strela trying its best to shoot these down. Last missile is going to miss. The Gazelle's coming towards the Spetsnaz Komrati. Jaguar Age Gem coming in to try and shoot down one of my aircraft. And um, we got the Mirage F1 on the left side with the CT. That's got the 400 kilogram bombs. And my Strela thankfully kills the aircraft on the right. So that was really nice. I've got a Spetsnaz Glue coming in to land and uh, provide some extra fire towards that Gazelle cannon. Meanwhile, T64B just charging up the road. Unfortunately, going to get taken out by the group Antica. The gazelle cannon here, really just running around the here yeah, trying to find my Spetsnaz Gamrati, but I've got the AKSU and the Vintores turned off so he can't find it, or at least that was the hope. So he's going to come in with the Jaguar cluster, meanwhile I'm moving my MI2 forwards, the Jaguar is going to shoot it down. Over here I spot the VRA, the T-64 is going to go and find the VBL, but drives past it because I don't think I was looking at the time. Uh, these Strellas are all in position, just waiting for aircraft to come over the top. Got a couple of uh, Skrezets coming up here with the Iglers. I ended up loading, unloading these Iglers for early so that I could shoot his aircraft. Uh, you can see both of those managed to hit, almost shot down the Jaguar there. Yeah, in the back here, got Spetsnaz, got BM, the Desaniki BMD. Um, I spot the VBL moving around, running away from the T-64. My Desaniki BMD on the back side managed to snipe it, so that's going to be the last one. And that is job done. Really just coming down to the, the wire here. I mean, 
the last CV. It was ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. He tried to use his Jaguar to save his CV there by targeting it. But, yeah, what a game. 39 minutes, 13 seconds. 9,750 kills. 8,045 losses. So, definitely trading well throughout. Just an absolute crazy game. I have never played a game as intense as this. Like, knowing that I'd got to my limit of com like, command vehicles basically made me go into, like, hyper-aggression mode whilst Genra was still trying to snipe my backline. So it was like having to jump the camera backwards and forwards to try and stop him from being able to win the game was just insane. Like it was, it was a really, really tough game and it was a really, really fun game as well. Uh, but yeah, what, what an absolute crazy one this was. This BMD2 was just such a champion. This was the one that ran out of fuel on the road. It managed to get two Puma Pirates and two Gazelle Cannons, <laughs> like as well as the other stuff that it had already killed. The MiG-29s were really, really good in this game. Like even when they weren't killing like the Mirage F1Cs and stuff here, uh, getting rid of a lot of those helicopters was pretty important. And the SU-25s were obviously trading as well, but check out this MiG. This MiG killed three Jaguars and a Mirage F1CT killed four gazelle cannons and the two pumas beautiful piloting there from my uh, good old mix and on the side of genra well his aml 90 lynxes were so annoying coming around the side of the map early on and getting into my back line and just running around free because it was really difficult for my helicopters to spot them and if i spotted them while i wasn't like looking specifically like they pop up on the mini map for like a millisecond so it's very very difficult to to find these things and he did a great job just like harassing my backline he killed a lot of these spg 9s that were there to stop this kind of thing in the first place and then he managed to kill the commands themselves um i, I want to say that general also had limited supply of commands and i think at the end there i killed his last command so i managed to kill every single one but yeah after he started like sniping my backline i started just going for his commands because that was the only way that i was going to win uh this mirage 2000 c Again, a lot of kills there like early on i traded with his f1c's pretty well but as soon as the mirage 2000 c's came in they managed to get a couple of really good engagements onto my migs and it kind of really took me out of the sky because for a long time there i was actually dominating the sky against the 11e which is something that you shouldn't really be able to do um but anyway nonna doing pretty well or oh, sorry not really doing very well, dying to the ML, AML-90 and also the Strellas there. This was just him running around in my backline again. Mirage F1C finding the Spetsnaz Camarotti there towards the end. Uh, group and Char just getting a lot of kills as I'm like just YOLOing uh, towards his CVs. <laughs> what a game. What a game this was. Absolutely mental. So I'm going to go 5-0 and General's going to go 4-1. We have one more game to play to see who is first or second seed. Uh, if it goes to a tie, I'm not even sure what happens. So yeah, we'll see. Let's move on to the next game and find out what happens then. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,